20 points, 12 rebounds per game. And Mackenzie Himes for Eastern Kentucky under Greg Todd in his first year. The graduate right here at Eastern Kentucky. Johnson, Collett, Kirkwood, Bass, and Reconati. Union College in their traveling gray uniforms with Union written across the chest. Gray pipe. Colonels written in the cursive font. Johnson and Himes to tip it off. And the Colonels win the tap going the other way. And Reconati wastes no time with a kiss off the window for the first points of the game. Good start. Good start. Alice Reconati, the 5'9 freshman from Bergamo, Italy. First points of the game belong to the Colonels. We played 20 seconds. Eastern Kentucky falls back in a man-to-man -man in the half court. Linton driving in and stolen away by Alice Reconati. One-on-one -on -one the other way. Reconati the rim won't be contained, and it's 4-0 Eastern Kentucky. She came to play, didn't she? Absolutely. First four points of the game belong to the Italian. Now Eastern Kentucky extends their half-court D. Left side to Lily Linton. She'll hoist a three that grazes the back iron and chasing it down in the corner is double zero Jayla Johnson. Reconati holds left wing, finds a cutting Kirkwood underneath, off the left blocking in for our aerial Kirkwood. Much better movement looks like. Six nothing Eastern Kentucky. Jervis gets it in the corner to Linton. Jervis, she'll hoist a three and miss it. Reconati the rebound. She goes behind the back and into transition. Colonel's running the other way. Up 6-0, trying to make it 8-0. Johnson to the rim. She is fouled. Coming on Union. Foul goes on Linton for Union. First foul of the game. We've played nearly a minute and a half. 6-0 Eastern Kentucky. Kirkwood gets the inbounds, far side. Reconati drives in with the right-hand dribble. Beautiful step through and <laughs> up and in for Reconati. She's got six already. That's fun to watch her. I'll tell you what, the rest of them move like that. There'll be no stopping you. Trying to break the pressure and throwing it away. Kala intercepts the pass up ahead to Kirkwood. One-on-one -on -one the other way. Kirkwood to the rim, 10 nothing. EKU. And That's a, the way to move. And a timeout to... Head coach Jordan Sweeney with 8.13 to play in the first. And have not connected on either one. Both of them were a three-point opportunity. This Union College team averaging 74.5 points per game in their six contests so far, but taking a step up in talent level tonight. As they break the pressure this time, Linton finds a bounce pass to Himes. Shot rejected by Kirkwood. Cleared out of there by Union as coming away with it is Brooke Hammonds and she dribbled it on the end line. What defense? Way to come back and do that. Ariel made a good block. Yep. Kara Freeman will check in for Eastern Kentucky. Colonels jog it into four court with Reconati, defended by Gracie Jervis. Reconati straight to the rim, count it, and a foul. Looks like they're going to keep letting her go to the basket. We're going to clear out, let her go until they stop her. Just a quick move by Reconati, crossover dribble at the top of the key, and Reconati, after not scoring, defended by Gracie in Jervis. Game, Reconati straight to the rim, count it, and a foul. Field. Already up to eight points, but it, she'll stay at eight with the missed free throw. Foul goes on Gracie Jervis. Jervis dribbles right in front of the EKU bench, down low to Himes. She puts the head down and goes to the rim and won't be denied. Get on McKenzie Himes, six foot sophomore from Mount Vernon, Kentucky. Reconati picks up her dribble, gives it over to Johnson, left baseline, traveled with it. and a foul before you dig in your yard call 811 one call and no accidents no fines call 811 straight to the lot. rim oh. it's like they're gonna 
in backcourt. The Bulldogs try to bring it across with Brooke Hammonds, averaging a double-double, 20 points, 12 rebounds per game. Jervis will try a right wing three, left it short, offensive rebound by Hines. Got better positioning on Jayla Johnson and sticks it up and in. Union in a 2-3 zone. Jervis and Newland atop of the zone for the Bulldogs. Down low, they work it. Center of the paint to Johnson. Turnaround, eight-footer, good. That's a pretty shot. Jayla Johnson averaging 10 points per game. Team's leading score from last year, averaging and 13 Newland and a half. Of the zone One season the ago. Down low, Double they work it. Center of the left paint to Johnson. Newland. Finds a teammate in Jervis. She'll try her third three of the game and missed it. But an offensive rebound for the Bulldogs. Fresh 20 for Union College. And points okay, for Hammonds. a straightaway three, no good. Another offensive rebound by Hines. Down low, they work it. She center of the paint to Johnson. And here Turn comes around eight good. With the rebound for the Colonels. Shot. Little toss from Collett. Freeman drives in. Left-handed floater, no good. And two-handed rebound pulled down by Brooke Hammonds. 14-4 EKU. Hammonds gets a screen, picks up her dribble, tosses it over to Linton. Gives way to Newland. Freeman defends her. 5.55 to play in the first quarter. They find That's Hines right. on a pick and roll. Get it down low to Hammonds. Left baseline jumper, 15-footer by Hines is good. Mackenzie Hines has all six of the points for Union College. And it's down to an eight-point lead for EKU. Reconati drives in, has her shot blocked by Jervis. As Reconati falls to the deck, here comes Union running the other way. Crossover dribble by Hammonds. One on three against Hammonds, got up in midair and came down with it, and that's a traveling violation. Lucky we did get caught on a foul on that one. Emma Hacker and Calissa Lacey will check in. For EKU, Johnson and Reconati will check out. Also, Bridget Fox will return or check in for EKU. As Kirkwood goes to the bench for the Colonels. Eastern Kentucky, 7 of 9 to open up from the field. Freeman crossover dribble and has her shot blocked but got a piece of the arm was Lily Linton. He must have seen something on the film because they're just doing this dribble drive and to the basket right just now. Straight up attacking that yeah. paint just off the dribble, yep. Kara Freeman to the line, 5'6 freshman from Elizabethtown, Kentucky. Started her high school career at John Harden before transferring to E-Town. And the freshman knocks home the first foul shot. Scored in double figures in two of her first three collegiate games. Trying to put the Colonels up by 10 and uses the front rim and falls through the cylinder. Also checking in Bree Crittenden for EKU as Ali Collett will go to the EKU sideline. Here comes the pressure by EKU. They Bulldogs find a release in Newland. She'll break the pressure into forecourt. Left-hand dribble, down low, they work it to Reagan King, who checked in for Union. Muscles her way down low and gets the shot to fall and a foul coming on EKU. Fox with the foul. Count the basket for King. Big girls need to deny that ball in. Reagan King to the line, a 6'1 freshman from Pineville, Kentucky. Averaged nearly 16 points per game last year as a senior at Pineville High School. Converts the three-point play, makes it 16 to 9. Union falls back in a half-court man. Trying to get Lacey open on a screen. She cut catch and release on the three. Too strong. And soaring up for the rebound is Linton. Newland, the Rockcastle County product from right here in Kentucky. Works it over to Linton and she traveled. Faked left, went right, and when she did, drugged the feet, and it's a traveling violation. The fifth turnover of the game for the Bulldogs. 
Kayra Freeman dribbling between the rings. Barks out the play call. Freeman penetrates, gets her way into the paint. Over in the corner, kick out to Crittenden, looking for her first collegiate points, and she knocks it down. The three on the right wing for Bree Crittenden. Good ball movement. Former state champion at Ryle High School in 2019, Bree Crittenden makes it a 10-point game. Hammonds driving in on Hacker. Hammonds pump fake, got Hacker in the air. She missed the shot, got her own rebound, muscles her way up, and a foul coming on Hacker of EKU. Brooke Hammonds will go to the line, shooting two. The first player in program history to be named an NAI All-American first teamer. Brooke Hammonds, and she converts the first foul shot. The fourth all-time leading scorer at Union College with over 1,600 points. Second foul shot true as well. Talk about a player, Brooke Hammonds, number 21 for Union. She can do it all, as you see right there. Abigail Smith checking in for the Bulldogs. She will replace Gracie Jervis. Crittenden crossover dribble into the paint. Defended by Newland. Kick out over the corner to Lacey. She'll drive the baseline on the right side. Over to Hacker. Has not attempted a three all year until now. And she missed the first one. Rebound cleared by Union. Right side to Linton. Now straight away holding at the top of the Colonel logo at midcourt. Now goes left baseline. 14 footer. No good. Tap by Fox. And Bridget Fox will clear the rebound for EKU. Lob it up ahead to Hacker, and it was touched briefly by King, but also after that, Hacker had the deflect, had it deflected off of her, and it'll go to Union. Kirkwood, Bass, and Reconati into the lineup again for EKU. Reconati leads all scores with eight points so far. Full court press being employed by the Colonels. Approaching the three minute mark here in the first quarter. Dribbling is Newland right near us. Newland gets it back on a pass from Linton. Right side to Smith. Newland wants a screen, gets it from King, does not use it. Newland falls down and a turnover coming the other way. Here come the Colonels. Sixth turnover for Union College. And a right back. The Colonels give it on a traveling violation from Kara Freeman. Need to have a little bit more movement on that to receive the pass. Smith puts down the dribble, gives it over to Hammonds. Over the shoulder pass on a bounce to Linton. Union setting up their play call. Little pitch over to Linton. She drives in and two hands. A foul called on Kara Freeman. Eastern Kentucky scored the first 12 of the ball game. Allie Collett will check back in for Freeman. Ilea Green also seeing her first action for EKU. 6'2 grad student from Louisville, Kentucky. See her there sporting the long sleeves. Up ahead, Newland thought about a three, drives in over Bass, pulls up for the contested 13-footer, uses the rim, does not fall. Reconati falls down, and battle for the loose ball. Reconati may be limping a little bit, and here comes the shot by Hammonds. No good. Chase down in the deep right corner to King. Back door to Hammonds, a blocking foul on EKU. Positioning makes a difference on those blocks or charges. A lot of movement there. You see it on the replay right there. Johnson may have been inside the restricted arc as well. Reconati will retie the shoelace. End of the line. Once again, Brooke Hammonds. This is a union team that loves getting to the line. They have got to the line 141 times in their six games prior to tonight's action. Hammonds converts the first one in their season opener against Alice Lloyd 
They got to the line 49 times. Oh my goodness, well, a lot of it is just movement and positioning where you are at the ball. Hammonds goes two for two, makes it 19 to 13. Savannah Fox, a 5'10 junior from Sevierville, Tennessee, will check in for Union. Play the middle, trying to defend Ilea Green. 19-13, Eastern Kentucky. Reconati uses the pump fake, goes off the glass and in. Double figures for Alice Reconati. We needed that basket big time. 21-13, here comes the pressure again for EKU. Union breaks it with Smith and the ball deflected on the back tap by Johnson. To trigger it in, Smith will do the honors. Give it over to Gracie Jervis, the 5'7 sophomore from London, Kentucky. Played her high school ball at North Laurel High School. Dribble handoff to Lee Lee Linton. Five on the shot clock for the Bulldogs. Linton has to hoist a 24-footer, and it does not graze the rim. Yep, it looked like it was going in, didn't it, from here? <laughs> shot clock will do it to you. You have to force one up with just a few seconds remaining. And here come the Colonels into forecourt. Right side to Allie Collett. Collett uses the screen from Johnson. Retrieves down low to Jayla Johnson and a foul called on Union trying to defend Johnson. They're going to get Hines. That is the fourth team foul for Union. So the next one will put EKU at the bonus for two shots. Five fouls per quarter in women's basketball and a turnover on the inbounds. Linton steals it the other way. One on one with her and Reconati. Linton misses it at the cup. Strong rebound pulled down by Bass, and a tie-up in the alternating possession will keep it with Union. Good hustle back by Eastern. They will reset the shot clock to 30. Linton will trigger it in on the baseline, looking for... Himes, they can't get it. They'll find Jervis as a release. She'll fire a corner three. And for the rebound is Bria Bass. Bass puts it over to Collett, and Collett fires an errant pass. That was deflected by Johnson, and it will give it right back to Union on the fifth turnover of the game for EKU. <laughs> 63 seconds to play opening quarter. Here from Alumni Coliseum. Well, they're picking him up full court, aren't they? That's what they like to do. They turned Evansville over 23 times in their last game Wednesday up in Evansville. Over in the corner, left side, a three by Abigail Smith is no good. Green and Himes battle for the rebound, and it's going to go to EKU as the ball is deflected out of bounds. Mackenzie Hines battling for the rebound with six points to lead Union so far, but her team's down by eight. Reconati thought about a 16-footer, now gives way to Johnson. She'll drive in with a head of steam. Her shot at the rim is no good, and the rebound pulled down by Linton, who rebounds very well for a guard. Her fifth board of the game already for the Bulldogs. They fire it down low to Jervis, intercepted and read well by the Colonels. Two on one the other way. Nice pass from Reconati to Johnson. And Jayla Johnson has her first two of the game in the lead. Balloons out to 10. Johnson, difference of two Johnson shots just now. Where she calmed down on that pass there, but when she took herself in, she was too fast. Ball deflected out of bounds, and it will go to EKU. With two seconds, they will go 90 feet. Baseball pass to Johnson, catch and put down one dribble, and she is fouled. Right off the inbounds, a great throw by Reconati to get it into the three-point arc. Johnson put down one dribble and a foul coming on Union College with eight-tenths of a second left. Johnson, five of 10 from the free throw line on this young season. 
nothing but net on the first one. Johnson had a team I 14 in the loss at Evansville on Wednesday night. Second shot by Johnson down the hatch. It goes. And Union will just run out the final seconds and we go to the end of the first quarter with your... I told you I was going to win. Windows 11 takes game to another level. And when it comes to streaming and movies, we haven't really experienced any buffering. In the fourth quarter against Northern Kentucky earlier this year, Colonels scored the first 12 points of the game to really jump out and put the stranglehold on the lead so far in the ball game. EKU basketball to begin the second quarter of action. Colonels go left to right, Reconadio right to the rim, fouled from behind, and they're gonna get Jervis with the infraction. So back to the line for the second and third time tonight. Alice Reconadio, the redshirt freshman from Bergamo, Italy. Rattles home the first foul shot. Started 21 games as the primary point guard last year for EKU. Second foul shot, can't connect. Rebound pulled down by Reagan King. Brooke Hammonds, team's leading scorer, held the four points in the first quarter. Down low, they work it to King. And Jayla Johnson's gonna pick up her second foul. And that'll send King to the line. Nice pass by Union to thread the needle. Reagan King will go to the line. Had 11 points in 19 minutes in their game Saturday against Point University. First foul shot grazes the front rim and does not fall through. King studying veterinary medicine. Second foul shot, rattles out. And the rebound pulled down by Bria Bass. Her second rebound of the game gives her 660 in her career. Kirkwood drives in. Nice. Beautiful pass down low to Fox, and she finishes. Beautiful ball movement for this team. Absolutely. That is the fifth assist already for EKU. Double team. Hammonds breaks it over to Jervis. Now they find a release in Haley Brock, who just checked in, and she turns it away. Here comes Kirkwood running over to Collett. Catch and release three. High arcing three from the right wing. No good. Bass battling for the offensive rebound is fouled down low by Brock. EKU now one of four from beyond the arc. 28 to 13, we played one minute here in the second quarter, down low to Fox. The Detroit Mercy transfer kicks it over to Collett, a three, catch and release at the top of the key is good for Allie Collett. <laughs> 31 to 13, Eastern Kentucky has scored the first six in this quarter. On the floor, battling for it, Reconati comes up with it, Kirkwood on a give to Bass, and kisses it off the window, and it's a 20 point lead for EKU. These girls needed this just to get their confidence up. Tenth turnover for Union. They are still in backcourt. Got to get it across, and they do. Reconati with the steal for EKU, and a foul going the other way as the EKU bench rises with excitement. She, she's getting, Hammond's getting a little bit frustrated on Union's team. Alyssa Lacey will return for EKU. Kirkwood will take a brief moment on the bench. How about Alice Reconati already 11 points, two rebounds, four assists, three steals. Lacey travel with the basketball. Move before she caught it, and that'll go to Union. Brock will trigger it in. Near the Union sideline, manned by their first-year head coach, Jordan Sweeney. Brock gives it over to Hammonds. She'll drive in, off the glass and in. Brooke Hammonds so knew what she was going to do as soon as she caught it. Driving in, put it on the right block. 
Reconati penetrates the C's part, give it over to Fox, puts down the dribble in the low post, kick out to Bass, straight away three from Bass is no good off the left arc. Trebling into forecourt on a jog is Newland. Pitches out to Hammond. Jab step. 22 feet from the basket straight away. And an illegal screen called on Reagan King as Reconati goes to the deck. Take a look at it right here. Hammond's getting the screen. And a hard contact. Reconati driving in and commits the foul. Jordan Sweeney on the Union sideline wants an explanation from Official Chris Van Hoos. She's already got some football, two injuries here, two hits. <laughs> Reconati will jog it into forecourt. Now hits the accelerator and goes to the rim and in. 13 for Reconati. Thirty-five to fifteen. Here comes a three by Hammond. That is well short, and it's going to go to EKU. Reconati may be on pace for a career night. Her previous career high was twenty-two against Tennessee Tech last year. Emma Hacker goes to the scores table for EKU. Check in. Allie call it. We'll have a seat. It's down her shoe. Bass had to tie her shoe, and she will go to the sideline. Just kind of snuck behind the EKU cheer squad. Pitch to Hacker. She'll drive in on the right side. Cut off by Hammonds. Reconati goes behind the back. Gets past Newland. Pump fake. Nothing there. Over to Hacker. Under the seven-minute mark here in the first half. EKU up by 20. Reconati penetrates. Double team. Good pressure by Hines. Gets it over to Fox. And she was trying to find a release at the top of the key in Hacker. And a reach-in foul called on Brooke Hammonds. Second foul on Brooke Hammonds. Their leading scorer. Averaging 21 points per game. And Fox will go to the line as that's already the fifth team foul. For Union College. The bigger difference from the first game to this game is I watch the guards look in. And if they don't have it, then they're good. Fox's foul shot is good. And if the bigs can't shoot, they go back out. In and out, it's wonderful. They're playing that well. Really makes your defense have to work extra hard, too. It does. No rim required for Bridget Fox. Two for two. Nothing but net on both of them. And the lead blossoms out to 22. Two racehorses there. Hammonds kick out to Jervis. She'll try another three. And this one's good for Gracie Jervis. Matt Toon gave the scout report on Gracie Jervis. And she said he said that she will hoist them. And Gracie Jervis hits her first three. She's got three for Union. 37-18 EKU. Down low to Fox. Tries to muscle her way into the paint. Fox gets it back after it was briefly taken away by Hines. And the presence in the weight room by Fox paid off there. And Bridget Fox gets the basket. Pure strength by the six-foot redshirt sophomore from Pennsylvania. Down low to Hines. Hook shot in the middle of the lane. No good. Linton. With her sixth rebound of the game for Union offensively. Work it down low to Hammonds. She'll go up and under on Hacker. And Hacker brought the arm down and is going to get called for the foul. See it right here on the replay. Hacker had good positioning, but at the last minute. Hacked. Yep, Hacker hacked on the way down. <laughs> That's going to send Union to the line. As you see, Jordan Sweeney coaching on the Union sideline. Brooke Hammonds to the line. Held to a season low six points on Saturday in their loss to Point University. Hammonds has already eclipsed that mark. She's now got eight. 
And a basket down low by Bridget Fox. EKU sharing the ball extremely well here in the first half. Yes, they are. But of course, movement and, and looking, their heads are up, and they go, I mean, they're going at it. That's the eighth assist of the ball game for EKU. It's being unselfish. Hammonds, double team, throws it away. Hacker gets credit for the steal. She wants to run. And now we'll back it away, give it over to Lacey. Lacey still now on, in the middle of the paint. Gives it over to Freeman. Jab steps over to Calissa Lacey. Catch and shoot three. Back iron too strong. And it will go out of bounds. Four fifty-nine to play here in the second quarter. That'll send us to a timeout. 41-20 here with just a tick under five minutes to play in the second quarter. 41 to 20 your score here from Alumni Coliseum. Union basketball to begin out of the timeout. Full court press being employed by EKU. They get it in the middle of the press and a tie up as tying it away was Kara Freeman. Her and Newland tied up and is going to keep it with the Bulldogs. See right there, the tie-up. Good defense by Freeman to she grab it. Yeah, she watched the way the ball was coming and positioned herself well. Lob pass down low to Himes and over the shoulder pass to a cutting teammate in Hammonds. Beautifully done by Union. That is 10th point for Brooke Hammonds. Crittenden driving in and a blocking foul called on Union as Newland hits the deck. That'll send Bree Crittenden to the line. She's already made a three in the ball game. The freshman from Union, Kentucky. No good on the first foul shot. Averaged over 14 points per game last year at Ryle High School. Second foul shot is up and good by Crittenden. Lead back to 20, 42-22. Crittenden will go to the bench. Reconati back in for EKU. King replaces Himes for Union. Hammonds will inbound it to Jervis. And get it into Newland across the dividing line. Left side to Linton. Linton has not scored in the ball game for Union. Right corner, Jervis. Eyes a three. And clearing the carom is Kirkwood for EKU. Her second rebound of the game. Kirkwood stops on a dime, gives it down low to Fox. Wrap around pass on the left side to Hacker. She penetrates in, has it deflected off of the shoelace of a Union Bulldog. And it's going to stay with EKU. Jayla Johnson will return for EKU with her six points. Kirkwood will go to the sideline. Lob pass to Johnson. Jabbing her way into the paint. Fade away. Hits the deck. No foul called. And rebound cleared down in traffic by Hammonds. That is Hammonds' seventh rebound of the game. Brooke Hammonds appears well on her way to another double-double. Linton goes between the legs. Fade away. 17-footer for the right elbow. No good. Offensive rebound. Her shot from in close is no good as well, and that's Reagan King who got the offensive rebound and can't convert. Here come the Colonels the other way. Hacker uncorks a three and buries it. Emma Hacker, first three of the year, gives the Colonels their largest lead of the game. Forty-five, twenty-two, approaching the three-minute mark here in the second quarter. Hammonds uses a screen from King and an illegal screen. The second time that Reagan King has been called for an illegal screen. Hammonds can't believe it. And King will walk back to the other end. Call it in for Freeman. Green also in for Fox for EKU. Yeah, Hammonds is still upset about that call. Reconati walks it across. Little crossover move. Getting into the paint once again is Reconati, and that's way too easy 
and Reconati will take that all day long. 15 for the Italian. Linton, a 17-footer on the left baseline, no good. Got her own miss. Little shovel pass down low to Hammonds. She'll go off the glass, no good. Gets her own miss again. The eighth rebound of the game for Hammonds. And a third opportunity for Union, no good. How about a fourth? Hammonds goes reverse and drops it home. Four opportunities for Union, and Brooke Hammonds will make them pay every time. Down low to Ilea Green. Hook shot in the middle of the lane. Too strong. And here comes Union. All right. Hammonds now one rebound away from a double-double. Here's a steal by Reconati. She'll go in on Jervis and get it to fall. 17 for Alice Reconati. It's her game tonight, isn't it? It sure is. She's going to. Be living right if this keeps up. Under two minutes to play in the first half. Newland, wide open three. That is no good. And Union now one for 12 from beyond the three-point line. They look a little tired. Look, they're forcing their shots. I think that press may be getting to them. Mm -hmm. This is a team in Union that shoots over 50% from inside the arc, but entering play today, only 28% from beyond the arc. So a much better two-point shooting team than a three-point shooting team. Johnson will try her luck at a three, and it skitters off and out of bounds. What she could have done is they could have played a one-on-one. -on -one. They could have gone back to her down low, Johnson down low again, see if she got a shot off. Reconati will trigger it in. They get it in on a bounce to Green. Reconati penetrates right into the teeth of the defense. Kicks it over to Kirkwood. Ari Kirkwood will drive in. Collett lost the dribble. Now gets it back with a minute 23 to play. Johnson drives in now left side. A little That's teardrop a is no good. Offensive rebound cleared out by Kirkwood. Gives it over to Green. Her shot no good. How about another opportunity for EKU? Kirkwood, the 14-footer splash. Fifty-one twenty-four. Newland walks it in. I think the intermission can't come quick enough for the Bulldogs. A steal. Kirkwood goes to the deck and couldn't catch it cleanly right in front of the EKU bench. You see Kala and Green coming over to help her up. Just couldn't maintain the dribble or it would have been another turner over on Union. 50.8 remaining here in the first half. Yeah, the Colonels are playing the passing lanes pretty well. Jervis gets the inbound. Now she is doubled. Balls on the floor as they try to find Hammond. Bass is going to get called for the foul as Hammond is down at midcourt. Now she will get back up, catch the replay on this. Just nobody could really catch, a, catch it cleanly. Bodies flying all over the place. They're going to call Hammonds on the foul for Union. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Undercutting Bass. Right. So that is the third foul on Brooke Hammonds, who has just recorded another double-double. Her sixth double-double of the year already, and she's got in the first half. 12 points, 10 rebounds. The AAC Player of the Year last year. She will stay in the ball game with three fouls. Johnson, a 16-footer, no good. Offensive rebound by Reconati. Allie Collett drives in. Her layup is no good. Jayla Johnson comes from nowhere and cleans up the miss. Beautiful. Nice rebound and shot. Eastern Kentucky with seven second-chance points already, and Newland knocks down the contested 17-footer on the left elbow. Ten seconds, here comes EKU. Bass trying to muscle her way to the rim. Is fouled with 8.1. Another foul call on Union. This one's going to go on Reagan King she, as she joins her teammate Brooke Hammonds with three fouls each. Bria Bass to the line. Bass will stay with two points. Can't get the first to fall. A 
Bria Bass on the year, 7 of 12 now from the free throw line. Make it 8 of 13 as she converts. Arena Klotkovo will check in for EKU. Hammonds will inbound it. Union has to go all 94 feet. Baseball pass intercepted by Freeman. Colonels work it into forecourt. Plenty of time. Kirkwood will hoist a three. No good. Linton clears her eighth rebound in the first half. And EKU is going to get a foul called on Klopkova. That is just the third foul of the quarter for EKU. So really no damage done. Union will still have to go all 94 feet, this time with 1.3 remaining. Hammond's looking for the baseball pass, but just will hoist it over to Jervis, and that'll send us to halftime. EKU with 54 first-half points, the most points in half so far for EKU, as they have doubled up Union College. In five of those six in the game that they didn't shoot 40%, they shot 39%, so they are a much better shooting team. And yes. I think this EKU pressure has just really caused a lot of problems for Union. I think so, too. And he keeps rotating people in, too, and that helps. Fresh legs. EKU basketball as they go to the wall end, if you're familiar with McBray Arena. Three in and a foul coming. Jayla Johnson knocks down the basket from beyond the arc and a three-point play plus one. like she was begging her, come out, get me, come and get me. <laughs> That's the way to open up the first half. <laughs> Jayla Johnson <laughs> takes her time, eyes the rim, tickles the twine. 58 to 24. Here comes Union as they break the press. Jayla Johnson now into double figures with 12 points. She is in double figures for the 35th time in her career. Hammonds holds ball above head. Deep three by Newland as the shot clock was winding down. And the rebound pulled down by Kirkwood. That is the fourth rebound of the game for Kirkwood. Reconati looking mm -hmm. to tie a career high. Can't get it on that shot. She left it well short as she... A, has a wry smile jogging back on defense. She knew it as soon as it left her hand. Linton goes baseline on the right side, lowers the shoulder, and a blocking foul called on Reconati. Yeah, it looks like her legs weren't under her on that three, didn't it? Yeah, just kind of got off balance. Reconati will pick up the foul. That is her... First for EKU. Linton gives it over on a drop pass. They were trying to feed it over to Newland. It hits the shoelace of Collett. Now find a cutting Hammonds, and Hammonds will stick it in on the right block. 58-28, EKU leads it here, just underway here in the third quarter. Allie Collett with left wing three. That is no good. Johnson goes to the deck along with the teammate, or along with the union player. That was Newland, and Johnson's going to pick up her third foul. No. Third foul on Johnson, fouled out the last two games. Picking up her third foul with eight and a half minutes to play here in the third quarter. Hammonds, head of steam, nice pass down low from Hammonds. Beautiful dish from Hammonds to McKenzie Himes. Himes has eight, Brooke Hammonds picks up her fourth assist of the game. Johnson, a 14-footer right near the A-Sun logo. Can't get it to fall, gets her own miss. Bass will try from the right baseline. Nothing but nylon for Bria Bass. Here 
Here comes Union the other way. EKU won the second quarter, putting up 29 points. They've had their two most productive quarters of the year so far. Hammonds drives in on Johnson, trying to get up that fourth foul on Johnson. Good, strong defense by the senior from Dallas. The shot by Hammonds is no good. Here comes EKU, two on two the other way. Brat Bass is shot at the rim, it's no good. And a blocking foul as Kara Freeman soared in and grabbed the offensive rebound and a foul called on Union. Catch the replay right here. Bass goes to the rim and probably one of the smallest girls on the floor, Kara Freeman, just snuck in there and got the rebound. You can do it. Johnson catches the inbound from Reconati. Johnson driving in, I think may have lost her balance and also lost the dribble. Here comes Union looking to run. Down low to Himes, guarded by Bass. Off, oh, drop step to the baseline. Good for Mackenzie Himes. She's in double figures now with her 10th point. Well, I think the halftime talk on Union uh, coaches did some good. Jordan, Union. Yeah, Jordan Sweeney over there trying to put together a decent run here and a foul coming on Union. That's going to be on Himes, her fourth. Johnson driving in and got Himes with the reach down. So Johnson to the line. She's got 12 points. Perfect three of three from the line tonight. Make it four of four. Johnson led EKU in field goal percentage last year, 47%. That is the highest Percentage in a single season since Shavante Naylor in 2017. Her output last year. And Johnson's perfect night at the foul line continues. Crittenden in for Bass for the white clad Colonels. Hammonds inbounds. Here comes the full court press by EKU. Seven minutes right now to play here in the third quarter. 62-32. Lob pass up ahead to Abigail Smith. Rejected by Kirkwood. Oh. And here comes Johnson diving on the floor. <laughs> and a tie-up. What hustle by Johnson. Her team's up by 30, and she's diving on the floor. That's pure hustle. Kirkwood with her third block of the game, making her second block of the game. And Johnson will go out. Greg Todd trying to protect her with those three fouls. She'll walk to the bench, get high fives. A near steal and another tie up as Kirkwood and Hammonds go to the deck. Good sportsmanship by Kirkwood to help Hammonds up. Ari Kirkwood playing well again. Six points, four rebounds, two assists, two steals, two blocks. Lacey in for Crittenden for EKU. Colonels with two players in double figures, Reconati and Johnson. Right side, Kara Freeman hits the gas pedal. Now up top of the key to Calissa Lacey. She'll drive baseline, leave it on a bounce in the corner to Reconati. Reconati dumps it down low to Bridget Fox, who played well in the first half with eight points, and a foul coming on Reagan King. And that is her fourth. Fox will go to the line. Fox, the Detroit Mercy transfer. First colonel from the state of Pennsylvania since 2008. Fox goes two for two, and it's a 63 to 33, make it 64 32 lead. Fox now in the double figures. First time as a Colonel, 13th time in her career. Ball's on the floor, and a foul called on Kirkwood. As Newland lost the dribble, Kirkwood went to the deck and committed the foul. That's the first foul on Ari Kirkwood. Yeah. 
64-32. We are in the third quarter. EKU cruising here on a Monday. <laughs> Hammonds driving in. Picks up her dribble, gives it over to Newland. Over the shoulder pass to Linton. Quick ball reversal to Smith. And traveling with it is Abigail Smith. It's amazing to sit here and look how close and look the intensity on their faces. They're still getting after it. You can't tell they're up 32, can you? No, you sure can't. It's amazing. Emma Hacker, you see, returns for EKU. Crittenden will dribble between the rings, defended by Brooke Hammonds. Freshman against senior, and the freshman takes advantage all the way to the rim. Bree Crittenden with six. Former MVP of the ninth region in Kentucky. Hammonds will drive in, and this time go up against Crittenden. And this time it's Hammonds getting the advantage. It's Brooke Hammonds with her 14th point. 66-34 as we trade baskets on each end. Right side to Freeman. They work it to Lacey now. Drives in, leads it off on a nice pass down low to Fox, who goes off the glass and in. Give the dime to Lacey. And Bridget Fox with her 12th point. She had a big smile on that face. And why not? Hammonds penetrates, picks up her dribble 14 feet straight away. Under the five minute mark here in the third quarter. Driving in is Linton, leaves it over to a teammate down low, King, who can't catch it cleanly. And that's going to send us to a timeout on the floor. EKU cruising up by 34 on ESPN Plus. Third quarter, three colonels in double figures led by Alice Reconati. Taylor Johnson also, Bridget Fox in double figures for EKU. Bree Crittenden will play the point for EKU. Get it over to Lacey. Measures up a three in the corner, and it can't get it to fall. Calissa Lacey 0 for 3 from 3 tonight. And the freshman from West Virginia trying to lift the lid. Can't get it to fall. And be Union basketball on the foul from Bridget Fox. Brooke Hammonds, see her there to trigger it in. Newland breaks the timeline, and as soon as she does, the double team comes. Linton over in the corner to Gracie Jervis. She'll drive in, leave it on a shovel pitch to Newland, who knocks down the jumper. The sophomore, Shelby Newland, knocks down the jumper. Lacey driving the other way, partially blocked by Hammonds and King as well. Brooke Hammonds comes away with it. Picks up her dribble. Wide open three for the left wing is too strong for Linton. She almost got her own miss. She's on the floor trying to battle for it. Finds a teammate in Newland, and we have a foul coming on Crittenden of mm -hmm. EKU. That'll be the fifth team foul for EKU, so foul shots for Union College for the duration of this third quarter on any more fouls. That'll send Shelby Newland to the line. First foul shot is good. Her and Mackenzie Hines were teammates at Rock Castle County High School. Newland averaged nine points per game her senior year, playing for the Rockets. Lead at 30 again, 68 to 38. Freeman drives in and a decision to pass it between two gray jerseys and is stolen away by Union. Seventh turnover of the game, they get the eighth turnover of the game for EKU. King sets a screen for Hammonds. Ball fake to the baseline, goes up and under, no good. Linton soars for the rebound, that's her 10th rebound of the game. And it's out of bounds, and it's going to go to the Colonels. It looks like Union's kind of going after those free balls a little bit more than we are. And I think you're seeing that right now. And Bass. Left side to Kirkwood, who's got six points tonight. Kirkwood drives in. Little pop from 12, no good. And Linton with the rebound. 
She came in averaging five and a half rebounds per game. The senior from Bardstown, Kentucky, has 11. Already recorded a double-double earlier this year. She's scoreless tonight, but does have 11 rebounds. One shy of Brooke Hammonds for most on the team. A little 12-footer atop the rim falls for Mackenzie Himes. Himes adds to her impressive night. 12 points on 6 of 9 shooting. 68 to 40. Reconati picks up her dribble. Gives it over to Johnson who curls her way from 12 and finds the bottom of the peach basket. 70 to 40. EKU. Linton looking for her first points. Gives it over to Newland. Trying to find Jervis, and Reconati records her fifth steal of the game. Up ahead to Bria Bass. Layup is good. Bass. 72 to 40. Bria Bass with five, make it seven on three of five shooting. Two minute mark here in the third quarter. Bria Bass has passed Zoe Artist. 20th on the all-time scoring list today. Next up, Pam Garrett, number 19. Jervis, a left wing three, left it short. There you go. Rebound, pulled down in traffic by Reconati as she falls to the deck. Jervis harasses her, and it's going to go off the leg of Jervis to EKU. Checking in for the first time today for Union is Sierra Uphoff, a 5'4 sophomore from Lenore City, Tennessee. Fourth team foul for Union. Nine Colonels have scored tonight. Left side to Kirkwood. Johnson drives in, double team coming on her. Fade away, tough 10 footer, no good. Offensive rebound by Bass. And as she was going up, is fouled by Union. You know, if you look at that play, they were, were cleaning the whole one side off, hoping somebody would have flashed down for a pass, and yep. they, nobody did. And Bass, good position to sneak in and got the position and got the rebound and a chance for two from the free throw line. But too strong is Bria Bass. EKU now 14 of 20 from the free throw line. Bass now just one of three. Make that two for four. As she converts the second, 73 to 40. EKU. Union coming with Savannah Fox return. Saw some minutes in the first half as well. Jordan Sweeney said he wanted to try to get everybody into this game, if at all possible. And that's going to be a tough job. They have 18 players on their roster. There you see the block by Kirkwood once yeah. again. Is that, is that three for her? That is three for her, yes. Jervis drives in and had it deflected as she was trying to go to Uphoff. Didn't clean it, catch it cleanly. And it is a turnover for EKU. Also checking in for Union. Madison Cox, a 5'4 sophomore from Lexington, Kentucky. Played three minutes Saturday against Point University. 57 seconds to play, third quarter. Johnson to the rim. Short. Got her own miss briefly, but Jervis there to clear the rebound. Her first of the game for Union. Dribble handoff to Uphoff. And it's stolen away, poked from behind by Bass. All Alley call it up ahead all the way and missed the layup. Well, luckily for EKU, it's going to stay to the Colonels. Johnson gets the inbound, looking down low to a ducking Kirkwood. Missed it, got her own miss, put it back up and in. Ari Kirkwood with eight and a turnover. Right off the inbound for Union College. Kirkwood stuck with it, got it, caught it midair, put it back up and in. Johnson drives in on King to the rim. Yes, and a foul. Yeah. 
Jayla Johnson, as soon as she cut it, went straight to the rim, blew by King, and gets the basket and a chance for a three-point play. Johnson now is 16. And the largest lead of the game for EKU. Foul shot is good for Johnson. Jayla Johnson played three years at Texas State and a double dribble by Uphoff. Union College can't get it across half court right now. They are, that is their 26th turnover to the game. And EKU can hold for the last shot if they wish. See what they do here. Greg Todd signals the play call. Game clock at 13. Reconati goes between the legs, gets a screen from Bass. Now at eight, Reconati drives with it, goes on the right side, a little teardrop runner from the right side. It's good. Reconati with 19, and the lead is out to 40, and a shot at the buzzer will not fall for Cox for Union. We've played three here from Alumni Coliseum. It's all EKU on ESPN+. Plus. Back on the Bulldogs, women's basketball was the first ever intercollegiate sport at Union in 1978. They won the Appalachian Athletic Tournament in 2020, won 26 games that year. Led for the longest time by their veteran head coach, Tim Curry, who's now the athletic director. He had 331 wins in 18 years, coached up until 2019. And Union College at 3-3 three three on the year. As we said, this game will be an exhibition for them as we open up the fourth quarter of action. Ball deflected out of bounds. It'll stay with EKU. EK, Union getting some fresh faces into the lineup. Brittany Davis, a 5-2 sophomore from Pineville, Kentucky, along with Summer Parton, a 5-7 freshman, also from Pineville, Kentucky. I'm sorry, check that. It's Jaden Christ. She is from Florence, Kentucky. Haley Brock also returning for Union. Colonels up by 40, 80 to 40 over Union College. Colonels will be back in action Saturday as they host Big East foe Xavier right here at Alumni Coliseum. Two o'clock tip. Saturday at the Coliseum. Driving in is Chris and has it stolen away from her by EKU. Reconati thread the needle pass from Collett. Has her shot blocked from behind by Brock. And it's going to stay with EKU. Nice block by Brock. Yes, it was a very good hustle. A sophomore from Science Hill, Kentucky. Later high school ball at Casey County High School. Jayla Johnson jabbing, stepping, connecting on a 17-footer. 82 to 40. We'll see how long Greg Todd goes with some of his regulars. And Reconati almost got another steal, but is called for the whistle. Eastern Kentucky limiting the turnovers tonight. Only eight. Union College has turned the ball over 28 times. Right side to Uphoff. Right wing three fired by Cox. Ooh, no ooh. good. And hitting the deck hard on the back side is Bria Bass. But she will hop up with the help of her teammate and Haley Brock of Union. Has a wry smile. Check this that, out. I thought that was her head and not her, it's her elbow when she hit. Yeah. You know, the, loud, the loud noise. Luckily, probably she'll take that, right? Oh, heck yes. First foul on Christ for Union. Johnson to the basket. Count it, and another foul on Union. Jayla Johnson with 21 points. Jayla Johnson, five shy of tying a career high. 26 against Belmont last year. She's one point closer. Now make it 85 to 40. A short changer, she's got 24 now. Christ drives in on Bass, got Bass up in the air and traveled with it. Hit the shot, but traveled with it. 
And the 29th turnover of the game for Union College. Colonels have scored the first five here in the fourth quarter. Johnson penetrates in all the way to the rim. And Jayla Johnson's having herself a night now as that shot just tied a career high with 26. Here comes Kirkwood with the steal the other way. One-on-one, -on -one, Kirkwood to the rim. Yes. EKU scoring in bunches now. Yes. That is their, by my count, fourth run of at least 10-0 or higher in this ball game. Yes. They opened up the game scoring the first 12 points. They opened up the second quarter scoring the first 10 and ended the third quarter scoring the last 10. And here they are now scoring the first 11 in the fourth quarter. And that might be your answer as Collett, Kirkwood, Reconati, Bass, and Johnson go to the bench. Jayla Johnson's night may be done. And taken away on the inbound, Emma Hacker with the steal. That is now the 17th steal of the game for EKU. Hacker driving in on Brittany Davis and a foul called. As Hacker going to the rim. Davis at 5-2 trying to play tough defense. And that's a matchup that EKU will like to take advantage of every time but Davis playing tough defense down low for Union Lacey lob it underneath to Ilea Green her six footer is too strong here comes Madison Cox for Union Cox on a bounce pass down low stolen away by Hacker here comes the long legs of Emma Hacker driving to the rim traveled with it Just the ninth turnover for EKU. That's pretty good for this part of the game. 89 to 40, EKU is going to get their second win of the year. Second win at home. Driving in is Christ. Her shot contested by Fox, who's played well, 12 points. EKU now with four players in double figures. Kara Freeman driving in, and Freeman with her fourth point. They're scoring at will, aren't they? They sure are, and it's now 91 to 40. Seven minutes to play here in the fourth quarter. EKU trying to hit the century mark. Madison Cox driving in, and a little teardrop runner from Madison Cox, the sophomore from Lexington. Madison Cox gets the basket. Ninety-one to forty-two. Freeman double dribble with it. She was driving in on the right block, and the tenth turnover for EKU. EKU really living in the paint. Fifty-six of their ninety-one points coming inside the painted area. Right side to Uphoff. She holds the ball on her right hip. Over to Cox. She'll try another three. Splash from Madison Cox. Just the second three made by Union. Gracie Jervis has the other one, 91 to 45. Madison Cox with the basket and a charge going the other way. See if we can get a look at that one as Freeman driving in. Taking it was Chris, good defense. Got her feet planted inside that arc. Mm -hmm. And now two officials will talk. They're going to change it to a blocking foul. Thank you. Positioning of where that girl was. I was hoping somebody would see that. Chris kind of throws her hands up in disbelief. Let's take another look at it. Freeman driving in. Yep, sliding over. Good call. And a great job on the replay. So now they're having a discussion whether to count the basket or not. And now the three officials 
We'll go over to the monitor and talk with the official score. Count the basket for Freeman. So Kara Freeman with the basket. That thing changed three or four times. Yes. Freeman with the old-fashioned three-point play. 94 to 45. Freeman now with seven points. Dribbling behind the back, Brittany Davis. Over right side to Uphoff. Her high arcing three is no good. And the freshman, Calissa Lacey, with the rebound for EKU. On your next visit to Richmond, book your stay with Town Place Suites by Marriott or Holiday Inn Richmond. Two great hotels in one great city. Town Place Suites by Marriott and Holiday Inn Express Richmond are proud partners of EKU Athletics. Calissa Lacey to the free throw line where she is scoreless on the night. First foul shot by the West Virginia Player of the Year. Last season is up and good. Lacey will have one more. Her second is up and good. Lisa Lacey originally signed to play at Moorhead with Greg Todd in November of 2020. Her main recruiter, Clint Williams, left for an assistant job at Indiana State. And when Todd took over the EKU job, Lacey wanted to reopen that recruitment and couldn't until at least Moorhead State found their new head coach. So. Alyssa Lacey was a late arriving freshman here to this EKU campus and trying to get her freshman season off to a good start. And a turnover for Union. 32 turnovers for the Bulldogs. Freeman penetrating, sneaking her way into the lane. No, and a foul called on Davis. EKU four points away from the century mark. Kara okay, Freeman, you see, coming into your living room, driving in and got the foul. Anissa Jordan and Arena Klopkova checking in for EKU. How many times have we reached the century mark? If we, if Eastern Kentucky scores three more points, it'll be the 26th time. Oh, wow. All time. And now EKU nine, or make it two points away from that with 98. Last time EKU went over the century mark, 2019. Driving in, newly checked into the ball game, Alexis Bowl. And Union gets it right back, fresh shot clock. Also checking in Summer Parton for Union, along with Madison Taylor. So... Head coach Jordan Sweeney pretty much doing what he set out to do, play pretty much everybody in this ball game. Take away the basket and a charge taken by Klopkova. Union driving the other way. You see with Chris right there in good position to take the charge, the UTEP transfer, Arena Klopkova. Ten Colonels have scored on the night. Led by Jayla Johnson, tying a career-high 26 points. Here is Kara Freeman. She'll drive in, and a little kiss off the window is good. And it's an even 100 for the Colonels. She's in double figures now. Down low, they work it, trying to find Fox, and it's poked away. Right side to Klopkova, catch and release, three, down the hatchet goes for Klopkova. The UTEP transfer came to Richmond as a shooter, and she buries the first one there. Four-minute mark here in the fourth quarter, and a block by Klopkova. Up ahead of the defense to Lacey on the other end, off the glass and in. 105 for the Colonels, and we still have four minutes left. Defense, defense, 
Driving in Morgan Blakely for Union. The 5'7 sophomore from Harlan, Kentucky. Nisa Jordan picks up the foul. Blakely a dual sport threat at Union. She also runs on the track team. Out of Harlan County High School. Holds the Harlan County High School record in two events in track and field. Inbounds goes to Alexis Ball. Left hand dribble on a bounce to Brittany Davis. Brooke Hammonds leading the way for Union, but Hammonds not played much here in this fourth quarter. Working it down low, Davis has her shot blocked by Jordan down low. And up ahead of the defense, Lacey right in stride on a pass from a teammate and Calissa Lacey now with her sixth point. It's a 16-0 run for EKU over the last minute and a half. And a steal by Crittenden as she saved it in to Klopkova. Driving in, Klopkova up ahead to Lacey, aim and fire from three, no good. Offensive rebound by Green, and Ilea Green sticks it in. 11th kernel of the game to score. The only one that has not scored is Anissa Jordan. 109 for the Colonels. Working it down low to Brock, and Brock falls down, and going to stay with Union. Lacey and Green out. Fox and Hacker return for EKU. The final 231. Wes, a lot of times people will look at that score and think you're just running it up. No, he's played a tremendous amount of players and they keep, they've keep they got to keep it going. Absolutely. Depth by far for Greg Todd's team. Working it down low. Jordan rejects the shot and clears it for EKU. Up ahead of the defense to Fox. Extra share to Clark Kova with the left hand and in. 18-0 run, and the bench for EKU loving every second of it. Morgan Blakely picks up her dribble, gives it over to Alexis Vall. Vall picks up her dribble, under two minutes to play. Left wing three by Davis. Gets a friendly bounce here from Alumni Coliseum Rims, and Brittany Davis knocks down the three. That ends an 18-0 run for EKU. Down low, Bree Crittenden puts it in for EKU. The Colonels with 113. If you're wondering what the franchise record is for most points in a game, it's 122. And the Colonels are going to get two points closer to that as Emma Hacker lays it up and in. Hacker now with five. A minute 20 to the finish line. As we told you earlier, Jayla Johnson leading the way for EKU with 26 points. She will be our player of the game. Up ahead of the defense, Klopkova once again sticks it in. And Arena Klopkova with seven off the bench. But, man, what a performance by EKU. Under a minute to play. Morgan Blakely drives in, has her shot blocked by Anissa Jordan. And it's going to go to Union as it was last touched by the sophomore from Fairmont, West Virginia. One-handed pass to trigger it in. Union gets it in. Working down low and a foul called on Crittenden. EKU still playing hard. Greg Todd's team going to win their second of the year. You see the foul on the reach in there by Crittenden. EKU, 59% shooting for the game. That's great. 45 of 76. And Crittenden will pick up another foul. For a team that came in shooting 34% as a team in the first three games. 
That'll help the old percentages. It sure will, and I tell you what, stopping Union from shooting the threes has been good too. Union just 30 percent, 18 of 59. They are three of 22 from three-point arc. Foul shot good by Brittany Davis. Thirty-three point five to the finish line, and Brittany Davis. Gets the foul shot to fall. She's got five. I think they're going to work for one shot, I think. Yep, could be it. Down low, and Issa Jordan count it and a foul. And now every colonel has scored as the bench erupts. Down low for EKU. And Issa Jordan with the basket. That's great. Nisa Jordan has had to battle through some injuries in her career. Had some ACL injuries. And the lefties free throw is up and good. And it's 120 to 50 for EKU. It looks like it's going to be the second most points scored in program history. Is that right? Wow. Two points shy of the all-time mark. Three is up and good from Alexis Ball. And with five seconds remaining, yep. EKU is just going to wind out the final seconds of this one. What a performance for the Colonels. Second most points in program history as they put up 120 on Union College and win it one.